Hello friends, in today's video I will show you Derwent Intense swatches and will tell you about my impressions of these pencils. My name is Marina and I am a freelance illustrator. I like to explore and try new themes and this channel exactly about it. So welcome to my creative corner, uh, but today it's not really a corner, it's my um, kitchen <laughs> uh, that I recently occupied. But uh, enough about it and let's um, make the swatches together. I'm using watercolor paper Palacio Premium. I really wanted to try this uh, in Tense pencils and I couldn't find it in any local store that um, I can come and try them in a piece of paper. So I found it, uh, an internet store and bought 36 pencil set as a birthday gift for myself. Also you can buy it apart if you know what color you want. They went in tense pencils are water soluble, so in a sense they work somewhat like watercolor pencils. You color in the picture, you add water and the pigment dissolve. Looking like paint. Pretty simple, doesn't it? So here is my impressions about them. It seems like a lot of magic happens when you add the water. For example, they are really, really highly vibrant and pigmented. And second, they change color. It is noticeable with a darker color, but for example, this chili red color is not very beautiful when it's dry, but when it's wet, it's just beautiful and magical color. color but it gives you certain difficulties when you try to find the right shade for your art. So keep that in mind. They are so soft because of the wax base, so it's so nice to draw using them. The ink and pencils work like ink. The pigment can only be wet once, after which they become permanent. You can work other colors on top when they dry, but the bottom layer will remain as it is. You don't need to put down a lot of ink to see a good color, so it will be enough for quite some time. Of course, it depends on how often do you planning to use uh, these pencils in your daily art and your style. about the style. I'm not sure how I'm going to use them, but I definitely will try mixed media technique. I like mix it with acrylic paint, gouache and uh, use them wet and dry. If you already drawing with these pencils, tell me in the comment section below how. I would like to try everything. In this set I also have a white color and I don't make a swatch with it because it's so opaque and I don't know if you will be able to see it uh, through the camera. So 
Also, I didn't expect to see outliner pencil here. Basically, it's a usual graphite pencil and I think it will be better if they put another ink dense color like flamingo pink in this set instead of it. What I like the most about this set is the variety of green and earthy shades. I think I'll be using it a lot in my daily art sketches and also I think uh, it will be a great fit uh, to nature and urban drawings. As I said before, once the pencil is dry, the color is fixed and you can work over the top of it. And because it's permanent, it's great for using on fabric such as silk and cotton. Can you imagine what you can do with these pencils now? I made these swatches on separate piece of paper on purpose. Because uh, the pencils look different when it's wet and I still haven't memorized every shade yet, it will be a uh, travel from one sketchbook to another until I do. Uh, so I stick this uh, with the washi tape in the beginning of my current sketchbook. I've noticed it just now <laughs> uh, that I stick this piece of paper in the opposite direction like in a manga book <laughs> but yeah i still i um, think that it will work for me somehow anyhow the main purpose is uh, to be in my sketchbook and to help me not get lost in that many shades of green and earthy colors thank you for watching this video till the very end uh, i hope you like it uh, and if you do don't forget to like this video subscribe uh, leave a comment and uh, see you in my next videos have a nice day bye bye